It's getting crowded in the compact crossover market, so Subaru's new XV is going to have to do something pretty special to stand out. Unlike some crossovers, every XV comes with four-wheel drive, so it ought to tow well in all weathers. It also has a comprehensive after-sales package, which should make owning the car stress-free. But is that enough with so many talented rivals? We hitched up to a Swift Expression 514 and towed on road and on the track to find out. Pushed hard in the lane change test, the Subaru feels short of grip and the stability control works hard to keep the car in check. However, on a straight road at a steady 60 mph, the XV feels stable enough, needing the odd steering correction to stay straight and steady, but nothing untoward. The Subaru's diesel engine can feel flat at low revs, but it's okay so long as you keep it on the boil. The engine can be a bit noisy, but it sounds a lot more characterful than most four-cylinder diesel engines. The maximum download on the Subaru's tow ball is 75 kilograms. That's pretty much par for the course for a car in this class. Our test car came with 13-pin towing electrics. Access is unhindered. Inside, the XV is solidly put together. However, the cabin doesn't have the upmarket finish of some rivals. There's reasonable head and legroom in the back, although finding room for three passengers is a squeeze. The XV's 380 litres of luggage space is modest, although it can be extended to 1270 litres with the rear seats folded. However, the load floor isn't flat. One of the strongest arguments for buying an XV is Subaru's everything taken care of after sales package. This includes free repairs for dents, scratches and scuffed alloys, plus regular cleaning and a number of other benefits. However, there's no getting away from the Subaru's high price which makes it seem expensive next to the likes of the Skoda Yeti. Although the XV has a certain rugged appeal, we'd rather save our money and buy the better car.